Hey you guys, this is Heidi from Bomas Mama. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I am continuing my series on the favorite read aloud of the week. So we did a lot of reading this week and it has been great. And I remember when I started this uh, series, I never revealed exactly what the book was about. So I'm going to do that again um, because I remember that you guys really liked that, that I didn't reveal exactly what the book was about, but I gave you some hints. So I'll do that again. So a lot of these are from the Read Aloud Revival um, website and Sarah McKenzie's book list, but a lot of them are not because sometimes I just can't get to, like I don't find them in my library. It's really frustrating. Half of the books I don't uh, find in my library. But I'm glad that I found some. So I start with the non-favorite ones. So we read this week, it's called Fish is Fish. This is a really cute book and this is about a little um, tadpole and a fish who are best friends. But when the tadpole becomes a frog, he kind of uh, leaves the fish, uh, the fish alone. And um, the fish is missing out on the world that the frog gets to see. And eventually the fish is like, you know, there's no fun down here. You know, I want to be where the frog is. And he gets out of the... Oh, by the way, the frog is telling... This is the cute part. That, <laughs> the frog is telling um, the story of all the things that he saw out in the world. And the fish is imagining these things with fish characteristics. <laughs> if I said that right. So it was really cute. Like he said he saw a cow and he imagined the fish cow, which is really cute. So the point of it is that the fish ends up appreciating the ocean because um and i can reveal i guess this one he went to uh go out in the world and he almost died you guys yes but the frog rescued him so a really cute story about kind of you could put a lesson in there and say you know you have to appreciate the world around you and that there's beauty in around you know in your world too so that's really cute all right the next one that we read of course, this is one of my son's favorite. We talked about that in the first video I, uh, last week. And this is the What If You Had series. And this one is Animal Feet. We love these books, you guys. If you've never heard of them, they're awesome. They have um, a lot of fun facts about the animals. And then they explain what if you had that animal's uh, feet, you know, the things that you could do with that animal's feet. So really, really cute. My son loves these and he just wanted me to show you guys his always favorite <laughs> but he picked another one from the group as well that he loved okay the next one that we read was the little gardener and i love this one what a beautiful illustrated book i love this one so much so let me show you inside look how beautiful so it's exactly what it says it's a little tiny little gardener who lives in the garden and he has this humongous garden that he wants to tend to but He's this little tiny guy. He can't do it all on his own. So his garden starts um, dying. And you can see him, look how cute. His little straw hat. <laughs> um, so his garden starts dying. And what keeps him going is this gorgeous flower. He says it's his favorite. And the flower is not dying. It's the only thing that's actually living in his garden. So he gets really tired and he goes to a deep sleep and in that time that he's in the deep sleep and i'm kind of paraphrasing <laughs> someone sees the flower and they fall in love with the flower too just like him and then they start tending to the garden as well and when the little guy wakes up he sees that gorgeous um garden all alive and beautiful and it's because someone cared just like him so it's a really cute story about gardening and um it's been a theme for us because we're starting to garden too so this one is, I recommend it too, it's so cute. It's The Little Gardener and it's by Emily Hughes. The next one I have is by Eric Carl. And I happen to get a lot of Eric Carl. So you'll see in my next week, in the next week you're gonna see more of Eric Carl. This one is The Roosters of the, um, the Roosters Off to See the World. This one is awesome you guys, because it involves some math and the kids really enjoyed keeping the math uh, together. So it's, I always love Eric Carl's illustrations, they're so cute. But it talks about how the rooster didn't want to travel the world on his own, so he started like picking up friends. <laughs> and then other people started getting interested in going with him. So every time the animals add to his journey, they're up here. So the kids get to um, count them and keep up with them. Um, and then it gets to be, I think, up to 15 animals. And then eventually, <laughs> the rooster didn't plan for food, for shelter. 
um, and they start like, okay, I gotta go. I gotta get, I gotta go back because I cannot. So they start decreasing. He even got fishes. They start going to their homes and leaving the rooster alone. So you have to do subtracting math, which is awesome. The kids like that. And then the rooster decides, you know what? I love my home. I'm going back home. And that's it. So it was really cute. It's a really cute um, interactive book to read to your kiddos. Okay, and then another one that we read. This was just cute. This is a cute one for little kids. Um, and it says, glad, glad Monsters, Sad Monsters. And it talks about feelings. So you can talk to your kid about feelings. I love that it's all black inside. It's so fun. And it's just like, like this one says, The Yellow Monster says, Opening birthday presents. Playing ball. Slurping ice cream. And dancing with the friend makes me glad. And then you use the glad monster face here. So if you would own this, you can tear this up. And the child can put their eyes in it. Um, and then it has a little story in pocket in the back, which is cute. So it was really cute. It talks about angry, sad, silly, uh, scared, um, all those emotions. So it's really cute. So that was a fun one. And I left one downstairs. I'll be right back. Okay, so I forgot I left this one downstairs. This one I own. The other ones are from the library. And this one is another one from Eric Carl and is um, The Lamb and the Butterfly. So this is actually pictures by Eric Carl, but it's Arnold Sundgard. That's the the uh, author. Okay, so this one was awesome. I love this one so much too, especially the pictures, um, because the lamb wants the butterfly to stay with her or him. I think it's a her. And the butterflies, no, I can't stay with you. And eventually, the it, after it rains, the butterfly's wings are very weak. And the lamb says, now you will stay with me? And she says, unfortunately, I would love to stay with you, but I can't survive the winter here. I don't have a wool coat like you. So the lamb says, oh, I get it. <laughs> I see why you keep trying to escape me. Um, and then eventually the butterfly, you know, flies south. And the lamb understands why the butterfly can't stay. And the lamb goes, the lamb goes to his mom and just be happy. So it's such a cute little read, very cute, and explains about butterflies and lambs, it's really cute. You could make it a lesson. Okay, so here's our favorite, okay? So it's my son's and mine favorite because, oh my gosh, I almost cried. So this is called The Gardener, which is another one. The other one was called The Little Gardener. This one is The Gardener. This one is by Sarah Stewart, picture by David Small. So when we start reading this one, you almost think that it is around the depression time, and it could have been. Um, because of the age, uh, the time. It's 1935 or so. But it doesn't say that in the in the book. There are letters being written from the daughter to the father and the mother and the grandma. And the daughter is being sent to her uncle because her father lost his job. So I think it is like, you know, around the depression time. It's such a beautiful book, you guys. You have to read it. It teaches the value of work um value of family and it is about a passion that this little girl has to keep a garden so i won't say anything else i'll show you some pictures here that's our favorite for this week you guys thank you so much for joining my series i will see you next week with another video and if you're new to my channel please um, hit the subscribe button and stay connected with us. We're doing a read aloud series of the week And this is usually targeting ages between four five six up to age nine, which is my child He likes all these books. You could even say age ten um, as long as your kid likes picture books That's what I'm doing here. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one